How many cocktails do you know that contain Aperol Aperitivo? Well, everyone knows one. It's Aperol Spritz, three parts Prosecco, two parts Aperol, one part soda. But you can actually make many more delicious and interesting drinks with it. Which is exactly what I'm going to do today on Dr. Cork. Important disclaimer, Aperol is the most famous, but not the only aperitivo drink that is a bittersweet light liqueur, which is usually diluted with something carbonated and drunk before meal. There are many other worthy aperitivos. Select, Francini, Luxardo, Contrato, any of them will be perfect for today's cocktails. But I have a one liter bottle of Aperol, so that's what I'm using today. The first cocktail I'm going to make is called Timber Point Cooler. Ben Loans, the bar manager at the Tides Beach Club in Maine, claims Aperol as his favorite liqueur to play with, and he finds it pairs especially well with dry, less botanical gins, such as Maine's Batson River Gin. Aperol is not overly sweet and herbaceous, and has a unique flavor profile overall, he says. Timber Point Cooler has been on the menu of the Tides for several years and makes for a great summer drink. Well, it's not summer anymore, but what you gonna do? The cocktail is shaken, and to the shaker we're gonna add dry gin, 2 ounces, 60 milliliters. I don't have any Batson River gin, but this one will do. Aperol, or other aperitivo, 1 ounce, 30 milliliters. Freshly squeezed lime juice, 3 quarters of an ounce, 22 milliliters. And simple syrup, 1 part water, 1 part sugar. Half an ounce, 15 milliliters. Fill the shaker with ice and shake it vigorously, dedicating the shake to this comment. Take the highball glass, put a big ice spear in it, and fine strain the cocktail. Top up with soda, stir a little, and garnish with a peel of a cucumber. And this is how you make Timber Point Cooler, a well-rounded, refreshing cocktail with a balanced interplay of sweet, tart, bitter and herbal notes. If you like cocktails with a citrusy twist and a touch of bitterness, all while being visually appealing with a cucumber garnish, this one is for you. The next cocktail is Aperol Negroni. The original Negroni is one of the most famous cocktails in the world, consisting of gin, Campari and sweet vermouth. I have made a whole video about it, check it out. And this variation replaces the bitter Campari with a less bitter Aperol. You can use a stirring glass if you want, but I prefer to stir my Negronis right in the old-fashioned glass. To which we're gonna add a big ice cube, Aperol, one part, about one ounce, 30 milliliters, dry gin, also one part, about one ounce, 30 milliliters. And sweet vermouth, also one part, about 30 milliliters or one ounce. Stir a little to chill and dilute the cocktail for about 30 seconds. And orange bitters on top, about two dashes. Peel an orange, express the oils from an orange peel and garnish with it. And this is how you make Aperol Negroni, which is a milder, more approachable variation on the classic Negroni. It has a delightful balance of sweet and bitter flavors. Also some prominent citrus notes. So if the original Negroni is too bitter for you, you can try this one, especially if you like more citrusy flavors. The next cocktail is called Sunset Vibes. This one is adapted from a recipe by Laura Garcia, a bartender in Chess Nick in New York City. And the cool thing about this drink is that it combines three kinds of bitterness. Aperol has its bitterness, grapefruit juice and tonic water also have their own unique bitternesses. But the result is surprisingly refreshing and not that bitter. The first thing we're gonna do is squeeze the juice from the grapefruit using a knife. We're gonna need one and a half ounce or 45 milliliters of grapefruit juice. And now let's make the cocktail. It is made directly in the highball glass using a build method. So to the highball glass add 45 milliliters of grapefruit juice. Then we add vodka, also one and a half ounce, 45 milliliters. Aperol or other aperitivo, one ounce, 30 milliliters. Stir a little. Put a big ice spear into the glass, stir a little more. Top up with tonic water, about one and a half ounce, 45 milliliters. And a little bit of mezcal, float it on top, about seven milliliters, quarter ounce. And garnish with a slice of grapefruit. Mm. 
Wow! The initial burst of citrus from the grapefruit juice is followed by sweetness and bitterness from the aperitivo and tonic water, and the smoky notes from mezcal come through as a subtle backdrop. It definitely enhances the complexity of the cocktail. I like it very much. It's a refreshing original drink, perfect for early autumn. And the last cocktail for today is Intro to Aperol, or as I like to call it, Aperol Sour. Audrey Saunders of Pegu Club in New York created this fruity and bittersweet drink to introduce customers to the flavor of Aperol. Easy and delicious. It is shaken. So to the shaker we're gonna add Aperol. 2 ounces, 60 milliliters, gin, 1 ounce, 30 milliliters, freshly squeezed lemon juice, 3 quarters of an ounce, 22 milliliters, simple syrup, quarter ounce, and 1 egg white, about 30 milliliters. Not the biggest fan of dry shaking, so ice, and shake it vigorously, dedicating the shake to this comment. Take a cocktail glass and fine strain the cocktail. A couple dashes of Angostura bitters on top and garnish with a lemon peel. And this is how you make Intro to Aperol. A citrusy and mildly herbal cocktail with a subtle hint of bitterness, one of my favorites today. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube and Instagram. You can find all the recipes in text form on my website dr-cork.com. The link is in the description to this video, as are the Patreon and YouTube membership links. Thanks for watching. Drink responsibly. And as always, do свидос.